Okay, guys, uh, this is a, a very special video for me because it's the first time that I'm recording something which is not directly related to courses. Okay, but I think that for your benefit, you know, for the fixed income guys' benefit and for the financial risk management benefit, I couldn't resist but record it. So I'm going to talk about bitcoins now. Okay. And I know that a lot of you are not mathematically savvy. So what I want to do first, I want to talk about public key cryptography. And this is going to be a layman, a layman introduction to public key, key cryptography. Okay? Because what I want to uh, what I want to explain how this magic is done, and for me it's absolute magic. Okay? Because it's, it's actually very counterintuitive that you can actually ensure or verify signatures, okay, without, you know, uh, by basically pu pu publicizing them in public. And for me, it was a, gr you know, it was a very challenge thing to, to understand how it is done. But then I found a great metaphor, and I want to share this metaphor with you. So what is a public key, key cryptography, okay? So if you have... Alice, and you have a Bob, okay, what you want to do, you want Bob or, or, uh, or C, which is Meikai, okay, they send messages encrypted in a way that only Alice can decipher them. So, Think about how amazing it is, okay? You guys can encrypt those messages, and if somebody stands here in the middle, okay, and he intercepts the message, he cannot do anything. He cannot read the message. Only Alice can do it, okay? This is called public key cryptography, or PKC. Why? Because this is like a revolutionary concept that was invented in the 70s by, R by RSA, Rivest, Shamir, Adelman. But apparently it was invented before by some dudes in uh, the British intelligence. And it was just deciphered uh, recently. It was un uncl unclassified like in the 2000s. And we then discovered that, you know, somebody, you know, actually invented this RSA algorithm in the British intelligence or American intelligence, the NSA, the, U the United Kingdom NSA, 20 years before RSA. Like in the 50s already, the British, the Brits probably knew what's going on. Okay? Now, I'm not, I do not want to speak about how does it work. I just, want to, I just want you to understand the principle behind it. So we are not going to talk about computer science at all. We are going to talk about you know, how it is done without computer science. How this can be done in a regular email. Because this can be done in a regular email. And I think if you understand this example, you will be, be able to understand how this PKC works in general. Okay? So how would you do it in a general email? So basically, you have basically here Alice, okay? And here you have Bob, and here you have Kai, okay? Now let's say assume that you do not have computers, okay? How Alice can send, how Alice can ensure, okay, that uh, Bob and Kai can send a message to her that only Alice will be able to decipher, okay? So what does it, so if Alice is going to send them a simple stamp, a press stamped envelope, for example, that Bob and Kai will be able to put the, the letter into this envelope and send it back, it won't help. Why it won't help? Because me or somebody else will be able to intercept this envelope, tear it apart, okay? Take the letter, read it, and, you know, and find all the information that Alice has, okay? So how do we prevent it, okay? So here's the, here's the example that you need to think about when you think about public key cryptography. So if you want to, to have a secured message 
that only Alice will be able to read. What you are doing, okay, you are sending an open safe. to Bob, and you will send another open safe to Kai. So you will have two copies of an open safe, okay? And the safe code, only Alice knows. So what will Bob or Kai will do? Bob and Kai will have this open safe. They will take this open safe, okay? And they will put a letter inside, and they will shut down the safe. Tick, 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 right? Only Alice has a key to this safe. Bob and, Bob and Kai do not have. They just randomly do the keys and the sh safe is shut down. So they close the door, okay, and now the safe is locked. And what they do now, they send the safe back in a regular mail, safe back in a regular mail to Bob or to Alice. Okay? So now they have a regular mail that goes to Alice. That's brilliant. Because now, if me or somebody else will intercept the tape, it won't help. Because we will have to decipher. Okay? And if the code is very tough, we won't be able to decipher. Even if we have, you know, even if we have somebody that is a professional in opening safes, if the code is very, very tough. Okay? That's exactly, ladies and gentlemen, what happens in, in, this, in this picture. So what we do in public key cryptography, we have a problem, a math problem, okay, which is very tough to, which is very tough to, to solve. So Alice, okay, publishes parts of the problem for Bob and Kai, okay? It is just like publishing an open safe to Bob and Kai. Bob and Kai, okay, Take the letter, put it into put it into this problem, encode it with this problem, and send it back to Alice. This is just like shutting down the tape. Okay? You can think about maybe even okay. I'm I'm I, I have a file that I'm sending. Okay? And now when I'm encrypting the file, only Alice can open it. Okay? That's exactly what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. So if I'm here, or if a U.S. government here, or if somebody here and they intercept the message, they have no, ch they have no ch chance of reading it. Just like here in this example, if I'm intercepting the safe, I'm, I'm having a safe, but it's useless to me because I cannot open it. Okay? Here is the same story. Okay? And if you, if you understand, you know, if you understand this safe e problem, if you understand this safe concept, you can understand public key cryptography. It's exactly the same, but it is done with computer science, okay? And the, and, the, and the idea behind it, okay, is to have like hard math problems that one way is easy and another way is hard. So, for example, one uh, problem like that is uh, taking a number, and decomposing it, into two primes. So if you have a number, okay, and you know the two primes, which, uh, you know, which comprise it, for example, if you know that 10 equals 2 times 5, it is very easy to verify. However, it is very tough to verify, okay, or for big numbers, it is very tough, given 10, to decompose it into 2 times 5. This is easy for small numbers. But for large numbers, it is very, very, very tough. We do not have an algorithm to do it. We do not have an efficient algorithm to do it. We have good algorithms, but, but they still take much more time. Much, much more time. So this is like similar to here, okay? If, you, if Alice knows the code to the safe, okay, it is very easy for her to open the safe. But for these guys, or for me, if I'm intercepting the message, it will be very, very, very tough to do it. Why? Because I do not know the safe code. So I can spend 20 years, 30 years trying to open the safe code. Okay? So that's the essence of public key cryptography. Now, 
one one thing that you want to actually you know uh, to actually remember that it also provides a way for digital signatures because how do you know that Alice is Alice well Alice is Alice if she can open the tape she can open the safe consider consider uh, consider uh, the following example let's say that the only way to open the safe is through fingerprint okay so I'm, I, Alice sends the, the safe to Bob and Kai, okay? And Alice and Bob and Kai put the letter back and then they send it to Alice. And now Alice opens the safe and reads the letter, okay? So by, the, and how does she open the safe? Now, this is a very sophisticated safe. You can do it only with your fingerprint, okay? So by reading the letter, okay? Alice verifies that she is Alice because only her fingerprint can open the safe. So here, this is how the di di digital signatures work, okay? By basically providing keys, by basically reading messages, you verify your, your own identity, okay? So this is actually very, very, uh, very interesting concepts, you know? And they're all coming from this kind of comparison between encryption, public key encryption, and safe. And public key, en key encryption is uh, based on what we call ma mass problems or trapdoor or trapdoor mass problems, where one uh, where one uh, where one way is easy, another way is tough. And one uh, one example like this is taking a number and decomposing it into two primes. Thank you very much and have a great day. Hello. Да, алло, сейчас. Подожди минутку, я должен его выключить.